Hey, Gender Blenders, it's Caden here. Um, I am sorry that I have not been around in a couple of weeks, but I am back, um, and I may, I think I'm going to go back and make the videos that I missed, Gender Blenders um, 6 and 7, but this is Gender Blenders 8. I think this week's topic is um, disclosing your partner's trans status, status to your parents um, and it's a question response that we got um, in the gender blunders email and uh, here's my take on the subject um, I feel that um, well I think the person that wrote in said that um, their partner had just disclosed their girlfriend had just disclosed um, that she was trans to them and um, I guess before that he didn't know or whatever or she didn't know um, I'm not really sure I think he didn't know um, so here's my my take on that if you couldn't tell your girlfriend was trans um, before you started the relationship and then they told you and it makes no difference on how you feel um, and if it's never come into question uh, then I really don't think it's any of your parents business what's going on um, with your girlfriend's body or um, and the flip side the same is, is true for the flip side if, if your boyfriend is FTM um, and they come out to you once your relationship is started um, I don't think that it's any of your parents business what's going on um, under their clothes unless you're that kind of open family where you would um, just naturally like tell your parents that or if it was brought up um, in question at all. Um, I know for myself personally I've dated some FTMs and I I tell my parents um, when I am dating an FTM they am not out to my parents as completely trans um, just yet but I have dated FTMs in the past and I have told my parents um, one because my family is very open and loving and accepting um, but two because the FTMs that I was that I've dated in the past have been um, my lesbian friends um, for many years before that and they know them as girls and lesbians so um, when I have dated them they have been trans and I've had to make you know the pronoun switch and everything and um, and I wanted my family to respect that and also make the pronoun switch uh, so I disclosed the trans status which my family um, has no problem with so in that case for me it's very easy to disclose my my partner's trans status but um, But if it's never been brought up in question and your parents have never questioned it and you didn't question it until your partner said something, I don't really think that it's anybody else's business. Um, however, if your partner is like out and proud and um, very, very open about their trans status and they don't care who knows, then maybe, um, then maybe that would, and if they want your parents to know, then I guess that would be something you would tell them. But other than that, I really don't think it's any of their business. Um, I mean, you might have some explaining to do later when it's time to have kids, if it gets to that point or whatever, but um, there are a lot of couples that are, you know, infertile or whatever, so it's not really, there's ways to get around it, and your parents don't really need to know, especially if they're going to have a problem with it, um, and my feeling on disclosing it is that once you present in the gender that you, that you truly are, um, People don't question it, but once people know that you used to be, like if you're a male that used to be a female, they look for things, for characteristics of the other gender. And if you do something that could be classified as feminine or masculine, the opposite gender, then they sit there and they go, oh, oh yeah, I see how, how you could have been a guy at one point, or yeah, I see how you could have been a girl at one point. So um, I really f feel that it puts like a stigma on on the relationship after that um, if they're not accepting, if they're not totally accepting 
or are willing to learn and become accepting. Um, I know for me right now, I'm not out as trans to my wife's parents, and we live with my wife's parents for um, for my son's sake um, because the house is set up for him with wheelchair ramps and everything because he has, he's in a wheelchair and he's got cerebral palsy. Um, and I'm not out to them as trans, but that is something that we're going to have to face in the next couple months um, as I start T and look forward to my hysterectomy. Um, and so, and obviously they know me as a girl and um, us as a lesbian couple. So, so of course we're going to have to disclose um, my status to them because I'm going to be transitioning right, right under their roof. So of course they're going to have to know. Um, but I think that, um, that it's just really, it's really up to you, it's really your call, and it's up to you and your girlfriend to discuss it, um, but I really don't feel like it's your parents' business. Uh, as long as they see you as dating a nice girl, um, and if it's someone you want to settle down with in the future, whatever, that's all they really, really need to know. Now, if she has any kind of family... Um, when it gets to that point, like meeting the family and everything, that's going to um, make it more difficult, like in the future, and I'm talking like way in the future, you know, when, when it's time to get married and all that, if she has any kind of family that's going to um, then cause problems, not problems necessarily, but, you know, talk about her as, not, not as if she's always been a girl, um, then that would be the time to maybe bring it up or breach the subject and that is my take on this week's topic and that's really all I have to say about it um thanks for watching I will probably in the next few days here do a personal update so if you guys are not subscribed please subscribe to um Poppy's Caden I'll be doing a personal update also I will be probably going back and doing um gender blenders six and seven I think are the weeks that I missed um long story my my toddler like wrecked my computer power cord and then I got a new one and then she immediately wrecked that one also um so it's been it's been crazy um terrible twos and um so stay tuned for those and on a gender blenders note Ty I hope your chest surgery went well today um Tyler our I'm not sure, Monday or Sunday guy, I'm not really sure. Um, he had chest surgery today, so I hope that went well. And I will catch you guys next week. We were promised a fun topic, so hopefully it'll be a good time. Catch you guys later. Peace.